Hello, Jago. It's currently 7.23 a.m. here, Wednesday, December 11th, or the 11th of December. So, uh, the last time we were talking, we talked about the second topic of vocabulary for arts. Okay, so keep in mind, uh, I'm going to just move it down because I cannot really select anything. So, they are like um, audio files as well, you know, for this one, no. But uh, they tell you exactly what you are talking about, that what they are talking about. Nouns for people, relationships, adjectives, describe characters, uh, noun for symptoms, verb for treatments, we saw that. And let's get started. Oh, it's not working like that. Okay. Okay. Health, addiction, Addictions, it's a noun. It's a condition of taking harmful drugs and being unable to stop taking them. It can be addiction to nicotine, to sugar, to whatever. Allergy or allergies. It's a noun to have allergies or to have an allergy or a peanut allergy or a pollen allergy. If you have a particular allergy, you become ill and get a rash. You know, this kind of red stuff you have on your skin and it's pretty itchy. It's like, ah, you want to scratch it. When you eat, smell or touch something that does not normally make people ill, food allergies can result in an enormous variety of different symptoms. Cancer or cancers, it's a noun. It's a serious disease in which cells in a person's body increase rapidly in an uncontrolled way, producing abnormal growth. So it can, it can be all kinds of different cancers, lung cancer, prostate cancer, blood cancer, which is leukemia, etc. Dehydration, to be dehydrated. We don't put an S, an uncountable noun, if you're suffering from dehydration, if you lose too much water from you are suffering from dehydration if you lose too much water from your body. Okay. Disease, diseases can be illness, illnesses. Now, a disease is an illness that affects people, animals, or plants. For example, one is which caused by bacteria or infection. We talked about the virus. The virus is very complex because uh, a virus can evolve every year. It's going to evolve. So you need something in order to kill that or to, to, it's not to, we cannot kill a virus, first of all. Second of all, you're going to force your body to adapt to it and produce enough antibodies or white cells in order to, to fight it. You may have a sleeping virus in your body, which is a case of, uh, what's the name of this stuff, like herpes. Uh, if people have herpes, they have it in their blood and uh, they're not going to get rid of it. And when they are, they have a low uh, immune system or they are stressed out or if they eat too much sugar, uh, they can wake up this virus. Okay. Infection, infections, it's a noun. It's a disease caused by germs or bacteria. Ear infections are common in preschool children. Obesity. We cannot have obesities. Well, Uncountable noun, someone suffering from obesity is extremely fat. We can, I, I would, I would disagree because we can say all kinds of obesities. Yeah, we could say that depending on the variety of obesities. Um, I would say, you know, they use it as an uncountable noun because they just think about one. Okay. So the excessive consumption of sugar leads to obesity. That is, you cannot, you're going to not say, uh, there is a plural here. So the last noun, stroke or strokes. If someone has a stroke, a blood vessel in their brain bursts, exploded, or becomes blocked, which may kill them or make them unable to make, to move one side of their body. He had a minor stroke in 1987, which left him partly paralyzed. The verbs associated with treatment to administer is to give something. Administers, administering, administered, passed. The verb, if a doctor or nurse administers a drug, they give it to a patient. Paramedics are trained to administer certain drugs. We call them also medics. 
admit, admit, admitting, admitted. Verb, if someone is admitted to hospital, they are taken into hospital for treatment and kept there until they are well enough to go home. She was admitted to hospital with a soaring, you know, going up, temperature. Diagnose, diagnosis, diagnosing, diagnosed. Verb, if someone of something is diagnosed as having a particular illness or problem, their illness or problem is identified. Almost a million people are diagnosed with colon cancer each year. So they go to see the doctor, they go to the hospital, uh, they have like, let's say, a complete checkup, and the doctor can be like, oh, you see, you have a problem here. So, oh, we can recognize what it is. Ooh, you are diagnosed with a cancer or whatever, an infection. Discharge, discharges, discharging, discharged. Verb, when someone is discharged from hospital, they are officially allowed to leave, entendre, they must leave. He has a broken nose, but may be discharged today. Okay. Examine, examinus, examining, it's examined, you know. Um, examination, you know, can be all kinds of stuff, but here we are still in the, the medical context. Okay. Verb, if a doctor examines you, he or she looks at your body, feels it, or does simple tests in order to check how healthy you are. So there is another verb which is more common. We're going to say to give a checkup, okay, to, to check you up. Um, if a doctor, you know, gives you a, gives you a complete checkup, it's going to check you up, uh, you know, just to check your body, check your, you know, your, your health in general. That would be a tiny bit more common. Uh, screen, it's a verb, uh, vaccinate, uh, it's a verb uh, as well. So screen, screening, screen, to screen for disease means to examine people to make sure that they do not have it. So imagine um, HIV. So some people uh, get a screening, they had a blood test and everything in order to check if they had it. Okay, so they have it or they don't have it. If men over 50 are routinely screened for prostate, men over 50 are routinely screened for prostate abnormalities, the same for breast cancer. Vaccinates, vaccinating, vaccinated. A vaccine is a harmless form of the germs or a virus that cause a particular disease. If a person or an animal is vaccinated, they are given a vaccine, usually by injection, to prevent them getting that disease. Dogs must eat vaccinated against distemper or rabies. So I told you to do the exercises, okay? Uh, the words below describe different disorders, circle the words that you associate with rich countries and poor countries. So infection, it can be both, heart disease, rich countries, allergies, rich, obesity, rich, stroke, rich, dehydration, poor, addiction, rich. Mostly we have rich diseases in rich countries. So now this health conditions associated with wealth are sometimes referred to as diseases of affluence. affluence. These include diseases which are not communicable, such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, and stroke, as well as uh, alcohol, always pronounce the H, huh? and drug addiction, obesity, and some allergies. Risk factors for these conditions are associated with the lifestyle of the economically prosperous, in particular, physical inactivity, easy availability of meat, sugar, salt, and processed foods. You see, we can add an S here. Excessive consumption of alcohol and tobacco, and lower exposure to infectious agents. The diseases of poverty, in contrast, are predominantly infectious diseases such as HIV, AIDS, we had it in the rich countries as well, tuberculosis, malaria, and diarrheal diseases. You have the diarrhea. Risk factors for these conditions include overcrowding, inadequate sanitation, malnutrition, and inadequate access to health care. Millions of lives could be saved every year by addressing these underlying problems and by simple preventing measures such as immunizing the population against common infectious agents. So they say in uh, the reading exam, you may have to indicate whether statements about a pas passage on true, false, or not given, not mentioned. I.e. Um, means meaning. Eh? You can often 
recognize a true statement if you can match it to a part of the passage that expresses the same idea in different words you can find uh, uh, you can find synonyms you know something a tiny bit uh, I mean you know they say uh, recognizing synonyms words words with approximately the same meaning can help you do this allergies are common in wealthy countries rich countries affluent countries that's another word you can know okay underline words in the passage for exercise two which could be replaced by the words in the in the bold below minor skin disorders that's uh, can be uh, allergies misuse addiction germs uh can be microbes can be a lot of stuff you know infections vaccinating children against measles uh measles sorry uh has reduced the prevalence of this disease so we're gonna work on that today because it's important uh the word below describe action that medical staff may take when a person enters hospital number the verbs from one to five to show the order in which they typically occur uh we can examine to admit or we can uh, examine to diagnose examine something uh, to treat the problem and after to discharge okay so in the reading exam you may have to complete gaps in sentences which with words from a reading passage recognizing collocations that means words that com that commonly go together can help you do this if you look carefully at the words on either side of the gap you may be able to use your knowledge of collocations to choose the right the right word or words the patient was uh you know diagnosed for cancer or he was admitted for cancer the patient was treated for cancer okay now we can do that we need to work together on that okay in poor countries patients are sometimes uh you know in poor countries patients are sometimes discharged from hospitals before they are fully cured if all women over the age of 50 are screened for breast cancer many lives can be saved the patient was diagnosed with heart, di uh, heart disease all children should be vaccinated against infectious diseases such as measles the doctor administered a drug to the patient to help him sleep okay so uh, that's something we need to work on okay today absolutely today we'll need to do that in order to finish this uh, this topic and uh, concerning understanding we need to come back to that as well and uh, so we did we did all the the past tenses i'm gonna just uh, you know skip these guys please keep working keep working on the the um, uh you know the simple uh the irregular verbs okay please 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 and uh I'm going to ask you questions actually just to see and what else I have like two minutes left ah Jesus okay so the past tenses we're gonna you know time to time I can go back to this stuff and be like okay so how do, would you use this tense how is it um yeah that also we're gonna have to read this is for the vocabulary as well it's uh, understanding and using English grammar page 34 the phrase bucket list or the expression has become popular because of a movie of the same name the bucket list in the movie two cancer patients one a playboy and the other a family man become roommates in the hospital neither has a good prognosis uh, prognosis they spend a lot of time together and talk about what they want to do before they kick the bucket kick the bucket is an Indian for die so the two friends makes make a bucket list a list of things they want to accomplish before they kick the bucket now many people have made bucket lists activities often include traveling to exotic places doing ex, uh, exciting sports like skydiving uh, bungee jumping there are books and websites with hundreds of suggestions think about your life what have you you done but would like to do what haven't you done what we'd like to do okay so this is page 34 uh, okay that is something you we already did 
Okay, we talked about all these different tenses. 